So let's start with some skip counting. So you can pause the video here and skip count that money and find out how much there is. Those coins are toonies, so they're each worth $2. So if we skip count, we would go 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Pat yourself on the back if you thought it was $18. In this picture we have some five dollar bills, so pause and skip count by fives to figure out how much money there is. So we'd go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Another way to solve this um, amount of money would be to group them by two and make groups of 10. So if I see sort of pairs of fives, I would see 10, 20, 30, 40, and then there's five left over, that would be 45. On this slide, we have $10 bills. So we can skip count by 10. So pause and figure out how much that is. So grade twos, in this one, you could skip count by 10. So you go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. You could even just count how many there are. So if I counted, I would find that there are seven groups of 10. I know that seven groups of 10 is 70. Now what I'd like you to do is take a look at these blocks and figure out how many there are. So the grouped tens each have 10 in them, and then there are some individual cubes that are just worth one. Those are one block. Figure out how much is that. So you can pause and do that. If you thought 24, you are correct. Take a look at these. How much do you think these are? The answer is 51. There are five tens and one one. That makes 51. Here we've got three tens and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ones. So that would make 37. Here's a tricky one. So I see two groups of three tens. So I know that's six tens. And I see two groups of two ones, which is four ones. So six tens and four ones would be 64. Here's our last one. How much is this right here? I see 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. And then just like a mathematician might, I see the ones are organized into one row of five and one row of four, sort of like a 10 frame. So I know five and four is nine. It's almost five. It's almost two groups of five, um, but it's one less, so it would be nine. So if I have seven tens and nine ones, this number is 79. Now I'd like you to practice your friendly facts. So two plus something equals 10. So try to answer when I flash the slide. So two plus what equals 10? That would be eight. Three plus what equals 10? That would be seven. Four plus what equals 10? You are correct if you said six. Five plus what equals 10? This one's even a doubles fact, five plus five. Six plus what equals 10? It would be four. Now I'd like you to look at this number, say what that number is, and then think about could you get their skip counting by twos, by fives, or by tens? So, if we start at zero, there's 35. Could you get there skip counting by twos? No, because it's not an even number, it's an odd number. Could you get there skip counting by fives? <gasps> yes, you could, it ends in a five. The ones place has five ones. Could you get there skip counting by tens? No, there's not a zero in the ones place. If I go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, I do not say 35. Let's look at this number, think about it. What do you call that number? Where is it on the 100 chart? 
and then we'll talk about which multiples match for this number. So there is 60. Could you get their skip counting by twos? Yes, it ends in a zero. So any number that ends in a zero, two, four, six, or eight is even. You could get their skip counting by twos. Could you get their skip counting by fives? Yes, because it ends in a zero. So if I go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, I get to 60. It is a multiple of 5. And could I get their skip counting by 10s? Yes, I could, because it ends in a 0. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. It is a multiple of 10. The number 87. Could I get to the number 87 skip counting by 2s? No, it does not end in a 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. It is an odd number, so I could not get their skip counting by 2s. I would get to 86 and 88, but not 87. Could you get their skip counting by 5s? No, it does not end in a 5 or a 0. I would get to 75, 80, 85, 90, but I skip over 87. Lastly, could I get their skip counting by 10s? No, if I can't get their skip counting by fives, then I definitely can't get their skip counting by tens because 10 is two groups of five. It does not end in a zero. I cannot get their skip counting by tens.